All right, and we're back. Let's see where we made it to. I see some sort of notice here, and... Ah, we got another follower. Thank you. Um, where are we in the leaderboard? We, we crawled up the leading board. I don't know where we are, though. We're at 36. I don't know where that puts us. <laughs> Who is, where's the boss at? Um, we're like right below the boss and we're still going up so we can probably still wait a bit so let's go follow the people that's followed us love like semtex I think and where is that I follow anybody who follows me if you want to follow me feel free and I'll follow you back and you're up in Norway good to know that's where I currently work <laughs> Um, feel free to cheer me on via Twitch, you know, cheers help uh, let other people know about the show as well you can send it on your Twitter now, let people know we're playing it just helps to have more people watching it makes it more interesting in the competitions it just increases the added fun and pressure and yeah, and now how many battles have we done? 10%. So this is just ridiculous. 10%. They're like super overloaded. Let's find one. We lost this one here. So let's take this one to the IDE. And let's see if our new code can beat this one. Lisk. Nice lizard creature there. So... <clears throat> That's interesting we can't beat this guy because we have no defense and he doesn't produce any arrows. Someone someone dropped this. <laughs> uh, 400 bots computing for that game. Wonderful. On top, wow. So we have way too many bots competing right now. And their servers are perhaps overloaded. I don't know what their server architecture is. I assume they have like dynamic demand on some sort of cloud on Amazon, just that bidding service, bidding cheaply, but we're really far behind. I have I strongly suspect that we can probably make make it out of the Wood League with our code right now. Um, we already know we have this type of thing to deal with. But again, I don't want to improve it too much because the fear is that it's just wasted effort. It's wasted effort at this point because the game really changes the next one. All right, so they're on Azure. Um, I don't know Azure as well as I know Amazon. They probably have a bidding service as well, so you can bid for underused capacity, stuff that people don't want, who knows, but they can turn stuff up and off. But yeah, honestly, they, I mean, when they have 400 bots, on top of the Code Royale, you know, they probably have a budget as well. They probably can't just scale this thing up to like a thousand servers, two thousand servers, because that's actually quite high in cost. And there's timing things, so you have to be worried about everybody has a certain amount of time. If you take a cheaper instance, it really screws up the game's codes because everybody has this expectation of how many people, how long their code can run for. And so it's, it'll be interesting what happens. But what we can do is we can start restructuring our code while waiting because we're at 10% of battles, right? So where are we now? So the boss is at 22 and we're at 36, still going up at 10% of battles. So the likelihood we make it is very, very high. And so we can just restructure some of the code now, I think. Start putting it into strategy and stuff. Instead of trying to come up with a new strategy, did we just drop again? So we didn't drop. This is a, people are coming in on top of us. We're not going down. It's just people are winning, and there's so many combinations that can happen because it's score based. Dropping just means somebody has more scores. Your trend could still be up even though you fall in the ranks. So as long as we're increasing, that's totally fine. Let's look for other Rust players at the moment. We've got we know IKFS. We know they're there and. Okay, 
Love like Semtex. So you know the guys I work with then. Um, well, up in here. <laughs> Good to know. Um, oh, yes, we found another Rust guy. Yeah, I'll be up in Oslo next week. Work related, of course. Work. Um, we're not just playing Netrunner all day in the office. <laughs> um, all right. So where am I? Oh, we hook another jig jump. Yay! Yay! Another big jump. Do these guys actually get promoted out? Um, On the hundred inch fork. <laughs> well, that runner's a card game, so no. But I'm sure we'll find some use to put that TV to. <laughs> There's this giant TV in the office, not a projector, like an actual 4K TV. It's uh, really unnecessary for presentations, but you know, it has other uses. <laughs> All right, so where are we? we're up? Somewhere here, so the boss is at 22, and where are we? We're at 29, so we're still climbing. So let's just refactor the code a little bit. We already have code modifications, but we should be fine. This isn't actually the code we submitted, but let's just do a bit of that first. Get status, get add dot, nothing here, get status. We don't actually need the lock file, do we? What does it look a like cargo lock file? Is a cargo lock file something you submit or not? Is it like a generated file? I'm not sure. It's not in the standard exclude, but does anyone know in, in, in Rust, is cargo lock considered an asset you commit or one that you don't? It seems to be completed versioning things. So, I mean, for me, it doesn't make a big difference, but let's just do it. Probably would three done, Hunter. Okay. 29. Hey, Luke, we can see it's in the same screen now. And at 15%, we're doing well enough that we should be fine. But do we actually have to complete our battles to be promoted? Does anybody know that? Do we have to complete battles to be promoted? That is, even if we get to above the boss, do we have to wait until we're done fighting to actually go to the next league? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Boss keeps going pushed down. We keep going up. Let's just refactor a bit then. <clears throat> Let's create a strategy, and we'll move this crap into the strategy. Because that's where it belongs. The main loop shouldn't know about strategies. But what's a little bit tricky here is that we have two things to do in the main loop. We have two things. Well, the first step was we just moved the printing right over into the strategy as well. So we're going to save this as strategy. All right, so we'll do a piece at a time. Pub struct strategy. We won't try to make abstract or anything. We'll just configure it. Implementation strategy. Public function new. And it should have a reference to the state. But that's going to mess up the. Let's just pass it in every time. Let's simplify it, pass it in every time. This all comes out. Goes down here somewhere. What we also have is going to put this right at the top. Use strategy star. My libs are already open. Pub mod strategy. Let much strategy equals strategy new. Now strategies are immutable. They do not just work from the read-only state. 
we had that trouble in Botters, and I, I've learned the lesson now is that in Botters, we didn't, the state was an, unable to track goals, but now we're actually going to make the strategy track goals, and that's why it's mutable. So the strategy can actually have, it doesn't just take the current state of the board, it's capable of remembering things on its own to click step through the board. And so we have that build count and home base. We're gonna move that around to open a strategy somewhere. None of that has to be public. And we're gonna tell the strategy that we have a new state afterwards. Strategy dot update state and state. And I'm going to put go for now, it's going to be a temporary function. It also has to have a state. Or maybe it should be from the update. Very hard to say. What do we want? Um, ah, you just copy it for now. That's good enough. Public function update state. And this should actually be step state. Um, new state. New state step is probably the best term for this. New state step. And this takes a state, and it's an end state. New state step. New state step. Okay, because this is where we do a iteration cup imprint and everything like that. But we won't use it right now. Public function go state and state and this should be an exact translation because it does all the moving things right here and that simplifies the entry points and eventually you want entry to have absolutely no logic in it I mean it reads in populates and then it says new state step and go so if we were doing a longer lived game we would actually start building test cases on the different bits of it but we're not going to here for this competition unless something goes horribly wrong and we need a test case oh yeah we should probably fix that as well build count build count is an i32 it's a point two And let's do a derive from offshore default. And then we just do this, let mood st equals self default. And just return that. Oops, got the field types wrong. And we probably have to import all that stuff again. State point strategy. Well, not strategy, but that's okay. All right, got to update those few state dot build count. State dot build. State dot. Oh, the stupid pop up! Anybody know how to turn this crap off? It's annoying. We, we, we put a delay on it once. Let's look at that once again. It's, it's something we can try and fix now. Um, settings. User settings. We have... Quick suggestions delay. Two seconds. And that was not two seconds. So, suggest. Anything else we can put? Whoops. Suggest. Accept suggestion on enter. What else do we have? Quick suggestions delay. No. We have 2000s. It's ignoring that. Ah, 
Aha, no, no, that's the one we want. Editor dot suggest on trigger characters. False. That's what's pissing me off. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Move on, move on, move on. New state step. What? Oh yeah. And look self. And look self. This is self. I did that wrong. Self. I should have clued into that. So that's not part of the state, it's part of self. Good, and the suggestions are gone. Yeah, yeah, we'll deal with that. Um, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it to them around 25? 25 is above the boss. So, this is the problem we have now. And I might actually have to cut the show short because of it, which is really unfortunate, but I don't think there's much I can actually do. We're not going to get promoted until my battles are done. And it's only 35% done. And when did we submit this actually? 40 minutes ago. So we're going to have to wait another hour and a half to get promoted to the next Wood League. And which kind of makes it silly. And Euler's saying they added more servers, so let's check. Let's give it another 10, 20 minutes. We'll do the more refactoring and see where we go. But it looks like we're not. I'm not going to sit around an hour and a half doing nothing. But we'll refactor as much as we can, and we'll see where we end up. So Euler, can you tell where they add more servers? Or are you just looking and you just see that it's going faster now? Not that we slipped down, that would be awful. Did we just slip out? No, we slipped back up. Uh, the boss is coming up too, though. It looks like it's going certainly faster now. We're getting more updates. All right, that, that would be helpful. Oh, so the coder... <laughs> so they killed another system that was hurting it and our count is going up a little faster here. We went 4% pretty fast, so we should be okay. And so let's just refactor in the meantime. Looked like that built okay. Um, now the stuff here about... What I like to do is I like to keep my state fairly pure. So all these other strategy functions, I like taking out of it. So we just get rid of these other strategy functions from the state. So the state is fairly clear because these aren't pure state functions. We'll keep the state to be actually ones that deal with the state because the rest of this has to do with strategy for the strategy. And they don't need to be public functions either. And this becomes a state and state. And this should be basically the same, except now we have slightly different things. No more public or self. We just do count units now. We're not going to have a state in there. State that our units.
count units takes a well it doesn't need itself it has nothing to do with that anymore public function find nearest units this is state and state where state.units so these are all ideally functions that they're separated on their own that you could actually test directly if you're writing test cases because it would actually be really helpful but we're just going to skip over that stage and just not worry about it because we don't have that much time okay we clean that up so the state is much smaller the strategy is going to get really big for us but we can probably create block that off too and we're going to do Look where all the places we do state dots in the code from down here. So now we just have find nearest enemy night state. Closest distance to doesn't matter. State dot find center archers just becomes find center archers state. State dot touch site get site. And those ones make sense because they're actually state control states. So it looks like we've got pumped up a bit. We're actually doing pretty well. Oh, we disappeared again. So our bot, because we optimized a few times, <laughs> we might actually be doing pretty well. So at the point where I started saying, I hope I don't have to introduce the logic, we may not have had to. We may have been okay without logic, but since we had time on our hands, the added logic pushes up quite high compared to the boss, which is way the hell down at 36 now, which just means our competition at Woodley is going to be a pain in the ass. And we're 50%, so we're, we should be get done. It is definitely going faster, and should be promoted soon. Are any of our chatters actually doing the competition this time? Anybody out there actually doing the competition? Just for, if you're doing it, just let me know. Um, again, I know a lot of you probably won't do it because it is very similar to the last competition. And the last one became kind of a grind with the heuristics. It became less interesting at the end, but this one's still okay for now. If it's simple, I'll see how the game progresses. It's not one, you don't have too many searching strategies involved here. So it's going to be manually controlled heuristics here, how well I think I can play the game. And I can already see the game is somewhat chaotic, so it's going to be a bit hard to do that, but we'll see. Okay. What else can I refactor while waiting for this? We do everything. State entry. Well, we know we have two more tower types. We're not going to use them. Well, that's kind of a minor gain. <laughs> uh, tower and barracks tower. So we're going to have to see how that works. Build mine structures in Orgena Guild. Queens will start with less health. And Oilers said they start with more health, so they might have a mismatch here. Right, so I really have nothing less to refactor either. What else can we do in this time? Where are we now? We've got about 60% completed. So let me just show you something else I'm working on right now, okay? Um, let's go over to Leaf. 
whatever's running there, cd slash source slash leaf algorithms, sdl, wormies, not wormies, uh, I forget how to run it. Leaf, I don't know, sorry, there's source, and I'm using a, my own distribution of it. And Wormies is a game I'm working on in another show, and I'll do this tomorrow morning. I'll work on this game. It's an actual game written in my language, which makes it so much fun. And I'll just show you how far we're at yet. So far, we just did the graphics on it. I mean, by graphics, I meant really we loaded up OpenGL and got something on the screen which is actually pretty good considering, well, again, this is my own programming language. So, you'll recognize this game. And the reason I'm doing this is because we play Tron in the other one. So I have the worm, and really this doesn't seem much. I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard. And the reason I'm doing this is so we can actually take the Tron algorithms I did, the ones that weren't doing so well, and implement them in Leaf as well. And also just to show how Leaf is working, and again, Leaf is my own language. I have my own compiler for it. <clears throat> and what I've been working on recently is the C ABI. If you're unfamiliar with an ABI, I'm going to write an article about this one. The ABI is how functions actually resolve on this system. That is, when you have a function that takes a couple of parameters, how does it actually convert that into registers and stack space? And it's actually not simple. And I'm fighting right now with return values. And it's kind of silly because I'm fighting with return values that are virtually never used, but since there's some wacky C libraries out there, I have to actually support them. <clears throat> and so this show, I'll be doing this, I'll be working on this one tomorrow. Tomorrow what I think I'm going to do is, because I didn't actually get the ABI finished, is I'm going to add better graphics. And by better graphics, I mean just playing around with OpenGL. It, what you don't see right now is that this is actually using an OpenGL driver, or driver, whatever you want to call this, a pipeline. It's, it's using SDL, opening up GL, and all I'm drawing are simple rectangles. And tomorrow we're going to convert them into little bulbs, little round things, and put a little bit of shading on them so they'll look less flat. And we'll probably, if we have time, we can create a start menu to the game, an end screen, little simple things which are extremely hard to do when you have a language which doesn't have a standard library, which you get compiler errors, and you get all sorts of wacky stuff. But we have a lot of things to do on this project. We get to add sound to this again, totally new for the language, of course. Uh, gonna add gamepad control support. I've never actually added gamepad support to anything in the system. SDL should make that easy though. We can add all sorts of things. Eventually we'll add network supports. Um, we're gonna have to add graphics. We have minimal text on here. We're gonna have to add an alien. So there's so much to do in that project and we're sticking with something simple and this will branch off into the complexity theory classes where I talk about these various algorithms and things like Tron because we can introduce a Tron automated bot which we wrote in the code which although wasn't good enough to make us pass silver is probably good enough to beat a common human opponent and I have nothing more to say so I'm just gonna let this guy die right now as soon as I decide I really have nothing left to say and then you'll see he turns red and then that game's over Tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow morning, I can do this stream a bit. It'll be very early, but I'm going to push these up to YouTube, and I'm going to keep them relatively short, because there's only so much to do at once until we get further. And this is written in Leaf. This is in my programming language, and that programming language is written in C++. So if you understand, on my daily base, day, I have at least three languages I use. Uh, and back to here, we're still waiting for us to finish here. We're still stuck at nine. We're not really, we're, we're doing fine. I mean, we're still going up. Whoever da fish is, they've done some nice stuff up there. They're pretty high up. Um, our 75%, so we're pretty close to getting done. And once we're done, we'll drop out of here. And where's the boss at right now? Wow, the boss is down to 36. So a lot of people have this figured out. And I hope they figured out that the servers were just slow. Not that they just kept submitting, 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 but who knows. Because every time you submit, you have to wait longer again. You have to wait for this to finish. So we're at 75, so we should be okay. And that'll give us a chance. Hopefully, I just get out of Wood League. If I get out of Wood League today, I'll be I'll be happy. It's not necessarily we'll we'll do that. 
it's a good chance I could use the same strategy right in the next one, just parse it. We have a few panic statements in the code which will cause us to hard crash the moment we get to the next one. But keep going up, that's interesting. It's like, and see, we keep going up, but someone jumped ahead of us, they won more, because it's based on scores, not in direct matches. Anything else we can refactor? Anything else I can show you? Uh, uh, <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with my website, please check it out, motorway.com. So I write a lot of articles. Most recently, it's been a lot about coding UI engine design, and that's all going to make into the leaf because at Fuse, I was doing the layout engine and animation engine. So I'm going to take all that information over and re-implement that in leaf just as an example of how that works. Um, that should be good there. And yeah, we have lots of time on our hands when we're waiting. We usually don't have this much. And we can't resubmit here. So I'm afraid I don't even want to try new code. And you've seen this in one of the last competitions because if I accidentally press the wrong button, I shouldn't even hover over it. Then we have to wait this whole time again. And, but you notice how we're slowly climbing up the leaderboards there. I doubt we'll get much higher. These other people probably have comparable or better algorithms. Clearly Duff Fish and Regime. Duff Fish is clearly dominating there. And he's gonna be kicked out right away. I mean, kicked up to the next league, not kicked out, kicked up. And, all right, what else can I say? What else am I waiting for? Come on, what are we at? 85, weren't we there last time? We were at 75 last time. And so now we're only competing against these people here, right? And these people can actually help people below the boss, because if you keep competing against the boss, you can knock them down, but the boss may not even be competing against us anymore because the boss is too far away, which would be interesting, and he's dropping. Huh. All right, so what are we gonna have in the next round? In the next round, we're gonna have extra rules. This is quite nice that they add this little bit at the bottom. Queens will start with less health eventually. You'll be able to build a tower structure to defend. I wonder if this is on the sites, probably on the same sites again, so you build a tower to defend ourselves. And this is one heuristic I can see. Instead of building right away, you might want to run out really quickly and build a tower in the middle of nowhere just to defend your territory or make every second one a tower because they don't cost anything. Full rules. Oh, let's, let's go look at the full rules. Those are fun. Full rules are always fun. Hee <laughs> hee, we cheat. <laughs> um, it's the last rule of queens. So we start with a single queen, which is good. Each queen, wow. So we start with random hit points. Interesting. All right, barracks type, we have a giant now. So the giant is gonna be new one, a tower. <clears throat> what do towers do? Stack defense structures. Towers begin working when they turn their build and can grow over time. Every turn, towers automatically fire upon the nearest enemy creep inside their firing radius. They deal three base damage at the edge of their firing range. The closer the creep is to the tower, the more damage will be dealt. If there are no creeps in range, but the enemy queen is in range, a tower will fire upon her instead. Blah, blah, blah. Once a tower once built, towers start to degrade slowly. A tower will eventually degrade completely and be destroyed. The queen can grow a tower and increase its range by issuing the same command as to build it. Build, build, what? Is there a limit to this, or I just keep doing build, 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 build? Cause it costs nothing. So why can't I just pump the one up to infinity? Hmm, gotta figure out the rules there. Okay, we start with a mine. One gold per turn, wow. So the number of creeps on the board is gonna drop a lot because we're not gonna have many gold, much gold. So we can build it again. Each mine has a maximum mining rate between plus one and plus five. What does it tell us that? Each building site has a limited amount of gold. Oh, wow. So you can actually tap the mine out. Or if the enemy creep touches it. Near the fields in the middle have more gold.
Gold totals and minor ranks are not given for all sites. They must be discovered by the queen. All right. So they're just creating weird stuff for us. And to be honest, this is really starting to feel a lot like the previous one, Borders of the Galaxy, in that there's not there's not like a slow calculating game. There's not like a thinking sort of game involved here. It's just balancing a whole bunch of variables and trying to figure out what to do. There's not a lot of deep thought in here, and especially in the competition time, it's just managing a whole bunch of variables and finding out heuristics for it. And giants cost a lot. You can produce one, they have a speed. Damage per turn, one to queen, 10 to giants, two to other creeps, 80 to tower, range, HP training time. Okay, training creeps, that's the same thing. Everybody's model is a circle. Oh wow, so it, I don't know if anybody, I mean, in the last game, in uh, Borders of the Galaxy, they had these very clear except, ex, expert rules as well. And I'm not sure how many people use them, because we made it into Legendary reasonably high without consideration of the specific rules at all. And I don't know how many people implement it, because in the 10, time, 10 days time limit, this becomes very, very sort of fixed and are very tight to do any of this. All right, so those are the basic ideas we'll have. Hey, we promoted, good, wonderful. Woohoo! We have tower structures. Okay, so in order to play this one, we're just, we're gonna panic. So all we have to do to at least work is to actually see what tower types we have and update that. Where are we? State. Um, so we have a tower as well. And we also have a giant. Those are the two new things we actually have to take into account while doing the parsing entry. And we're just going to find where we parse these things. Barracks. And I'm guessing one is a tower. Let's go look at the input ID. One is a tower somewhere. One is a tower, reasonable guess, because that's where the spot was left. Structure type tower. And what else do I have? Tower is remaining AI HP as well, so let's add those things to there to the units. No, that's a site. Public function, tower HP and self, and these are just accessors self.param1, so we can refer to these later, I'm just coding in the rules. Param2 is the attack radius, I don't know if we'll use that, tower radius, tower attack radius, and self. We're going to quickly convert it to F64, just because we know that's what we want anyways. Or from self .param2. Okay, and what else do we have? We have Queen Knight and two for Giant. Let's parse the Giant in as well. Where's the Giant? Unit type, because we're probably crashing right now. And so we don't do anything new in this game. This should be enough to actually play the game without crashing. So let's try that.
and they build nothing but towers. Just crazy. <laughs> so let's try the stupid move. Uh, our rank is still going up, which is uh, kind of weird <laughs> because we're panicking on half of them. So let's just submit this one and see what happens. That's really weird. Right, because anytime somebody builds a power, we panic. So it's really surprising we don't make it, we make it anywhere. Well, let's see how far we make it with this. And then the first strategy I'm going to do is just alternate all the tower types. Let's build one tower of each in turn, and that should be enough. I'm going to lose quite a few, but we might make it somewhere. But we're going to run out of gold really quickly. So we have a mine somewhere. Where is this mine thingy? Mine, 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 mine. mine. How do I build a mine? Uh. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't have mines yet. <laughs> We're reading ahead. We have a tower. We can build a tower instead. So let's go into our strategy and just do that instead. Build three. And we're going to go into defensive first of all, I think. Let's build some archers first and then build a tower. That's all we need to do is build a tower. It's the only new thing we have. And let's see how we play against the current boss who just builds nothing but towers. Whoops. Wrong barracks type. Oh yeah, we gotta fix that too. We have a can train somewhere. Can train. And what do we do this? Train cost? Or not V can train. We should probably say is barracks. Because those are the ones we can train. And this is a barracks train cost. Sites have public function is barracks. Self Boolean. Return structure. Return structure equals structure type. Uh, barracks. We do need to have a giant in here though. Unit type giant. How much does a giant cost? Well, they don't have them here yet. 140. They cost 140. And the barracks unit is unit type giant. Barracks train cost. There we go. All right. 
we're not doing very good because we failed, still panicking. We play a lot longer now, as you can see. <clears throat> we still don't beat the boss, but... He gets super aggressive, so he got a much a, full, a lead on us way too fast. And this is one of these games where you probably can't recover. But like, look at seriously, <laughs> he had one. I'll just submit that. We're playing the rules of the game now, and that's. I'm wondering if that's enough to get how far up we get. We're not beating the boss, but we shouldn't have to do too much better than that. Um, I should probably run to a tower now. We're going to have to change it to attack first, I think, because we're getting beaten. We get attacked too fast to start with. He's going down pretty fast, too, though. See, like, look at it. Look at it. It's so tight. It's so tight in these things. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna have to do something slightly better than that. Let's do, what do we wanna do? Find train ready sites. What do we wanna train? Um, I wonder how well we do if we just train a giant. it this way. We're going to train knights first. Then we're going to train a giant. And the last thing we do is going to train archers. Because we're crazy. Just find something that beats the baroness. Now, did you, look, did you see how we got screwed at the start by our own units? Like, like, look at this. What the hell? What the hell was that? That's lame. Um, right, so that's that's really ugly. That's really ugly what's happening right here. And it means we never actually touch the site. So something went really, really screwy there. Like that's just totally unexpected. So let's just try this again with a different one and see if we get a better result.
Whoops. Archer. And let's build a giant first. Let me change these numbers, I guess. One, zero. Because they're not building giants. If we build a giant first, we're going to start destroying their towers right away. I hope. Alright, so we're going to have to change the way we build to make sure we have certain tower types all the time, first of all. And figure out which units we want to produce, which units do we want to produce in general. Where are we on the leader? We're not doing so well here. I mean, we're still going up, but there's no way we're going to make it to the top with this. We have to be able to beat the boss. Uh, well, actually, technically, we don't have to, but it would be helpful. And all he builds is one sword and tower. So. Let's take the boss's approach and see if it gets us far enough. If self.build count equals zero, else. We're going to build an archer. Otherwise, we are going to build a tower. And we can do one more thing. In Go, no. We find train ready sites. No, we find closest site, non us. Find center archers, we're gonna find the tower. We wanna do if let sum tower position equals find closest tower, find our closest tower. Else TP, TP, we need to find closest, find nearest, find nearest, find our closest tower. Should probably give you a position as two, a state and state. Just make it more generic. Option. Find our state of our queen dot position. Oops. And we just go through our sites. This goes to our towers then for site and state dot sites. Site dot owner does not equal owner us or site dot what does not equal structure type tower. Continue. <coughs> Let it close tower equals none. I just call it close units. And you'll notice it's going to be, this is close site. Very similar to below. I don't know how to actually modify these things well enough yet.
let distance equal site dot let's do position dot distance to site dot position if close site dot is none so if we can replace the one if it's not there or the distance is less than the closest distance we just go to those ones close site equals some site close distance equals distance close site of course, we'll never get that right the first time. No field and type site. What do we have? I thought site had an owner. It has an owner. Oh yeah, because this is this crap. We're gonna have this comma site. Let's point to this. And this is going to be an optional reference to a site. Um, how costly are these sites? We can do a site like this. What does a site have in it? A structure. Oh, yeah. Why did I call it that? I should have called it what? <clears throat> All right, these are closer to his rules. Let's see how we fight against himself, the Baroness boss. Now, why are we losing so badly here? Let's try and figure this one out. What does he do differently? We set it up the same way. Because the towers die. And then we have nowhere to run. Okay, got it. If we're within range of a tower, we should probably just rebuild it. Different strategy. Um, so for close by, let's build it instead. ID. That probably won't help that much. We do survive longer now. So actually, why don't we go, if we're in trouble, why don't we just go to the one with the lowest tower? Or really, and this is where I say, we're already breaking down to actual heuristics. And so in the Wood League, this is, this is a little bit worse than Botters in the sense that we're really having to actually start thinking about stuff. We still don't have the full rules yet. We know what the full rules are though. And I don't know why we have so much gold and he doesn't. Oh, because we should actually, anytime we have something to send, why are we, why do we have so much gold left? It's 
So he produces knights, he produces knights, we produce knights. Is he cheating? His site's cheating, isn't it? Look at the replay of his thing. Look at how fast he's able to produce knights. He's able to produce knights faster than us, so the boss appears to be cheating somehow. I don't know how. Let's see what he's doing to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out why we don't train. Oh, I know why. I know why we don't train. It's because of our... right here. We don't train knights if we want archers. I just screw it. Let's just take that out. Let's just train whatever comes first. Oh, that helps. We can improve that a lot, of course, but that does as well enough. Let's submit that and see where it gets us. And we're going to have to start improving the towers. So what we do is we're just going to the closest, the safest tower. But as we're in defense mode, we should just go to whatever tower is within range and we can just take the one that has the lowest one. That jumped us up fairly fast, didn't it? Wow. Um. Will that be enough? Or did we just get lucky? We might have had a lucky for a few matches. Um, or we might just move on. Let's just see what happens this for a second. Because the next step I'd say what we do is that, <clears throat> I said we just bounce between the towers and train them all to defend, which we might have to do because it looks like we got lucky for the initial raise and in rank. We might have gotten lucky, so we might not make it quite yet. You know what I think oh, we actually might make it because the Baroness isn't very high up. Yeah, we'll make it with this, so I don't really want to touch it again. <laughs> um, so what I was thinking is the easiest approach we could probably do is just, because we're building towers, just tune it to get out of here if we have to. Just go to any place that's not our tower and build it and just keep building towers because right now we have this preference to run away. If we just stop running away, we might be fine because if we just keep knocking down towers, but we're out of this league, no problem. We just have to wait for these battles to finish. But I said, this, this is helpful because like I said, I don't want to put too much effort into training in the wood leagues because it just, it's too chaotic. There's degenerate strategies tend to win, like ours, <laughs> and it's just not a fair strategy. And I and basically that last step when Euler pointed out I'm not spending my gold, the last step was just to remove one of my checks, which I was actually needed in the first league to do the right thing. And just removing it lets us get further in the second league. And so I mean, 
we have a point gap with the boss that should be well enough to just get on to the next move, but we still have all these battles left to finish. My goodness. And... Anybody else here? Uh oh, no. Uh oh. What gateway timeout? No, don't do that. Um, I don't think we've seen Pen before. Oh, we've seen Pen before. We're following them. So we're kind of fluctuating here. There's a chance we don't make it just based on the idea that uh, other people could push up the boss beyond us. So our gap might not be good enough. And I never realized this before. I thought it was simply at this time we get pushed to the next league. We don't have to wait for the battles to finish. But it looks like we have to finish, wait for the battles to finish. And everybody's computing right now, so it's really chaotic. Everybody's computing at the top. I think our gap's probably big enough, though. But then it's just a waiting game again. Um, what can we do in the waiting game? <laughs> Let's submit this one, or no, it's get status, get add, source slash strategy. Probably good enough to wood one. So what we did in Botters, to be more correct, is we made this go return a turn, and the turn encoded what the turn would do, instead of just printing it out directly. I don't think I'm going to do that in this game. I think I'm just going to print out directly, just because... Why not? We can abstract it a little bit, and, and the reason why I say that is because... We know we're not going to do any look ahead. The reason we create turn objects is, is in case we want to do look ahead. But we know for a fact we don't want to do look ahead here. But we might want to compare turns, but we're probably not going to do that either. So I'm really not sure how to do this thing easier. We have optional turns. We could also just make the turn be a string. And that's an option there too. Just make the turn be a string and don't worry about what's in it. And then so we can't inspect the thing, but that would be sufficient, and that would let us structure it out at least enough so we have slightly cleaner code. Just making sure we're high enough. Yeah, okay, we're far enough above the boss. We're going to make it. So let's just structure the code out slightly more. This file is going to get rather big, but that's okay. And so we're going to have a function called... If flee, for lack of a better name, if flee, and it takes a state. Well, it's going to take a mutable strategy as well, and mute strategy. Actually, I can probably stick these right on the strategy for simplicity. Function if flee, and mute self state and state. And this returns an optional string, I guess. So we take this here, stick this out here as the first basic thing, and then we just do this return format. Return none, return sum. So we're not going to bother creating a turn object. We're just going to return strings. Because we don't, we're not intending to apply this to the state. Since we have absolutely no look ahead, we're not going to apply these to the state at all. So we have absolutely no reason to interpret them. If let's sum um, turn equals if flee. 
self dot if we turn move on equals false. Let's see if this compiles the way I intend it to. All right, that compiles. So that's the way we're going to refactor that. And we can do that refactoring while waiting for the leaderboard. Where are we at? We're not making it very high in the ladders, but... Oh, we're up to nine, actually. So we're fairly close. Battle's at 60... 68%. So we'll make it out of Wood League. Good enough. And it's this state touched is a bit of an issue that this actually looks like a bug in the game, to be honest. They added touch site, I guess, for the purpose of you understanding it, you touch the site and you want to build there. But then you just saw in that one game, I got continually pushed away by my own guys. And I'm wondering if I should just, when I'm close enough, do a build, if that's faster. So that's an optimization we're going to have to do is that instead of waiting for us to touch a site, we build it as soon as we get there, and I, I gotta check the rules on that. Um, actually, let's check it right now. There's specific rules on when these things are done. Ah, only in the advanced one, where is it? Full rules. They have the full rules. And this is in the turn sequence. Creeps move, collisions resolve. Creeps attack. Queens destroy enemy nines barracks. Creeps. Um, queen's move. Yeah, so what happens here is because the queen's move first, we can take advantage of that to say, instead of waiting for us to touch a structure, if we're close enough, just call the build command because build actually moves us towards it if we're not there. And that might mean we build in one turn. Where's build? That was in the other one, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so I am thinking basically, if we'll try that out. It might give a slight advantage. It won't be a huge advantage. And we drop down somehow. Or is it just not updating anymore? Oh no, because a bunch of people, no, it's just not updating the other screen. So we'll be in the next league right away. Let's just finish refactoring these ones. Function if build and mut self state state option string I will say this if state dot touch equals false if move on and some turn we'll get rid of the move on right after we're um, right after we've refactored these things because we only need one print line then right same thing if move and what self state and state Good 
return some format. So we can get rid of this actually and just return none. Option string. If move on in some turn equals self dot if uh, if move state because these are all the same I'll show you how we fix that afterwards and if move on the final one then we print out wait so that's that that'd be a disaster actually waiting is a disaster I wonder if we're at the next league right now we missed a closing bracket Where's our missing closing bracket or opening bracket? Close, train folds. One of these is missing something. Right here. Whoa, what happened there? Not found in the scope. What happened? What do you mean not found in the scope? Um, let me try something stupid. No, that's not it. Oh, it has to be that. And let's. What? You can't combine those? Well, that sucks. Oh yeah, we have a problem here too. Uh, let's check if we made it up. First of all, we already made it up, so let's continue. Now we can build mines. Good, let's keep coding. Okay, Wood League 1, we're already at rank 21, so apparently you don't need to do much to get there. <laughs> um, all right, let's follow you as well. Let's go over to Coding Game, follow them. All right, hello, Sykesy. I guess you're from Coding Game. I'm assuming that's why you have CG there. <laughs> And so our leaderboard here is kind of interesting. We made it 21, so we probably don't have to do that much to get out of the league. But let's fix whatever nonsense I did here. And... I just moved these before. We'll count as one, that's simple enough. And now we have this stuff down here to deal with, and we can simply do it this way. Let turn equal none. Then we can simply do if turn dot is none, turn equal self dot is free. And I'm going to pack these together just to show that they're all the same basic thing. Move, move, build. If let's some um, command equals turn. And print line command else print line weight. 
All right. Um, so where do we stand? 21. We probably run into gold, so everybody makes it up to there. We just have to build a mine or something. And where are the mines? The mine types. Mine, let's add that. Also build a mine. And that means a site would also have a mine. And a gold mine has an income thing, so we're going to just add that right away. Site pub function mine income. It's an I32 self.param1. And there's nothing for param2. We can build a mine, you can build a mine, train. So we should probably build a mine as the first thing we do. Let's just change that logic. Or right, let's just see what the boss does. Although we're doing well enough that I'm, I'm tempted not to <laughs> do anything. So I'm guessing what happens is that we run out of, we, we can't produce any more people because I have no more gold. And so he just produces lots of gold. So let's just alternate between gold and towers and see how well we do. But it's disturbing how high we are, unless this really means that this league is a short league and everybody makes that out of it really fast. That's one of the reasons why we might be high up. And we're still going up though, so. So. Well, we can at least work on the, the move. We don't have to submit it. We don't have to submit it yet. Let's look at if build. First thing we're going to build is a barracks. Sixth thing we're going to build is. Else a cell build count mod two equals zero. I'm gonna build a mine. Why not? Hello, paint artists. Welcome to the show. We're just trying to make it out of the wood league of this little game. This is just basically all the rules. It's all we want to do to get is get out of wood league. The first ones, the server was overloaded, so it took us a long time to get out of it. Hey, look, we beat him now. Cool. Will that be enough? Possibly. Let's try it again. I'm reluctant to submit right now because we're still going up, I think, and I'll check. If we're not going up, I'll resubmit. If we are, I'll just wait because there's a chance we can make it through anyways. Two for two, we win. We still don't... Out we, we're, we, like I say, we're trying to just find the cheapest way we can win right now rather than actually optimize anything. It looks like we may have fallen in the ranks, so it looks like we're going to have to actually submit again. Yeah, we're going down, so let's just submit this one, see if we do better. Beating the boss is, could be possibly enough to go up. Let's see what we have. Okay, I guess Witty Prakash, you, you're, you're responding to a viral comment. Basically, we have to have all our battles completed before we get promoted. And I think we figured out that makes a lot of... 
I guess that prevents you from getting lucky, to be honest. It prevents you from getting lucky. What's interesting, though, is if you drop below the boss after 100%, you can still be promoted. We've seen that in games before. So as long as you're above 100% at the time to get promoted, you, you'll be okay. And that's just to prevent unlucky dropping as well. There's a few we lost, but we'll see how well we do. Uh-oh. We're not jumping half high enough, fast enough. Oh, this one should be an easy win for us. Okay, there must be some we're losing, though. Or this is not getting updated. Where are we? Okay, I'm getting tired now, so we're going to see where we go with this one. It's enough to beat the boss. So if we get lucky and get high enough. Alright, where are we so far? We've, uh... So for the rules of the game is we can build things on each of these square segments. We are each of the round segments. We can build something called a barracks, and that produces creatures that go and attack. And these are the red ones. They're going to go over and kill this guy. This guy here. He's the enemy queen. And can I make this any bigger? No, sorry. And I can zoom in for a second, though. Oh, wait, that made it smaller. That wasn't helpful. Okay. And did I actually submit the new code? Yeah, we're using this journal editor. And so what we can do is we can send off units, or we can build a mine. Yeah, the problem with maximize, I'll show you. Well, I'll explain it. So you maximize, you're going to miss part of it in the chat. But okay, there's a queen over here. Here's our queen. I wish I could maximize just part of the screen, but I can't. So these are mines here. Mines produce gold each turn, and they slowly run out of gold. So you can see there there's a remaining gold of 129. And they produce one. The plus one means one per turn. This one is plus one. His mine, he found a plus four one, which he got extremely lucky. And closer to the center, the more they're worth, remaining gold. These towers are defensive. When his units come within range, we attack them. And I can show you that. Let's just run, I'll let it run through again. So we build, we build, we build. We send off our units, our, our red ones. And then his blue units come over and we attack them. And as we get more gold, we send off more units. And we just build lots of towers. And we kill his units off as they come and keep sending units off and we just seem to win against him. Our strategy so far is it's really simple. We build knights because knights are the ones that can attack the other guy. There's our other ones. There's also a, a troll and there's archers that defend us but archers have proven to be utterly useless already. I have no value in the archers whatsoever and maybe the troll is good. And these towers are really good for defense. And then basically, we just alternate between mine and tower, build mine and tower, build mine and tower. And if the enemy's close by, we just run to the one tower and keep repairing it. And the idea is we should actually run between the towers and keep repairing them. And when things run out of gold, we can also fix them. I don't know why this one broke. Oh, that was a tower. Because towers only last so long and their radius shrinks. So when we're in trouble, we should just run through and keep increasing all the towers and switching with gold. And that's basically what we've been doing in the Wood Leagues. And the Wood Leagues are just introducing rules. And there's probably one more rule we have. Yeah, Queens will start with less health. And we just want to see if we can make it out of the Wood League with this now. We're up to nine. And we're sitting here. Hard to know if we can make it out of Wood League. We know we can fight against the boss. We can beat against the boss, but these guys are going to push us down. We might have to improve a bit. Our code is based on the same type of way we did botters. We have a strategy. We have a state which increases. The state has very generic things. It just maintains the state of the game. The entry point parses the current input of the game. And the strategy then tries to figure something out. And we have a heuristics-based strategy. You can see it at the bottom. 
We check things in turns exactly like botters. Should we flee, should we build, or should we move? Otherwise we wait, and it never gets to the wait. And then for the ready the training sites, you have to you have to manually say when a tri site should train. And by that, what I mean is when this thing is ready, we have to tell it to train. And we're just telling it to train every time we have enough gold and it's ready to train, 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 train. And it looks like we're going to have to do something more to get out of Wood League. We can beat the boss consistently, but apparently not these other people that are around us causing us trouble. Let's try the boss again just to make sure we've, we've done it four times now. We've beat the boss every time which is a decent enough win ratio, but it looks like the other bots are keeping us down. Oh, he did win once. And our minds immediately die if an enemy bot touches them, which is almost unfair, but hey, what can we do? And so we have a very similar strategy to the Duchess, which means we're probably going to win 50-50. But we had a slight advantage, it seems. Our build, our build would actually be better if we ran the closest place back to the home base to the site. Um, sexy. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can upgrade, can't you? Let me check something. Well, yeah, we upgrade this. That makes that that probably help a lot. That's probably going to do it. Again, I forgot about the upgrades. I forgot it's introduced now. Um, we need practice. Yes, you can run right over and kill the tower. Like if I walk all the way with him to here, I can immediately replace his tower. The problem is I'm never going to make it there. His towers are just going to kill me. But based on what Sykes said, I think basically we just increase our towers, our mines. We just issue the command, and I'm just going to issue it five times and I'm going to ignore the state for now. We should actually be monitoring the state. We can't tell how much we can upgrade it. The We'll just upgrade a bit. But our leaderboard, we're not so bad, so we probably don't have to do even that much. Right? Like, there's still a chance. Let's just do it that way. Let's do... Uh... Where's our strategy? If build. Well, I mean, Witty Prakash, in terms of you can come and play this game, it's on coding game, right? Um, if you're not familiar with the site, anybody can come and submit their code, but it is a programming based game. There is no manual control. And I'm wondering what this is similar to. This is similar to a lot of sort of tower defense games, classic tower defense games except you have two people competing against each other, but that'd be the closest thing I know of is a tower defense type game with resource management. So what, are, what were, I don't even remember the name. I played so many tower defense games, I've forgotten the names of all of them, but they had the same basic thing. You built a tower, you upgraded stuff, you tried to kill people, but you had things walking through the map. So it's kind of similar, but I don't know if there's one that directly compares. <clears throat> and where are we sitting in the little rank? See, I don't even have to upgrade the mines, I think. So what Sykesy says is correct. I probably should upgrade my mines and it'll help. But there's a very good chance I make it to the Silver League without. I mean Bronze League. And But let's test it anyways. I won't submit. Well, we can at least test it here. I want to do one thing here. We're going to do if site.owner equals owner.us and site.structure equals structure type mine and site dot mine what did I call it mine income 
is less than, I think it was five, we should put a constant somewhere. Let's not upgrade it to five. It's probably unnecessary because we saw that, well actually, you know, who, who knows? I mean, let's just do five. Well, let's just do four or three site ID. So this should update our mind now, and I won't press submit. I'm gonna see what happens with that number first, because sneaking by is a lot quicker than having to resubmit and wait. <laughs> kind of cheap, because we keep going up. So maybe, maybe. Well, this is really weird. We didn't actually upgrade the mines. So something went wrong. Make sure it's working. Yeah. Um, we probably yes, upgrading mines is free. It, it's unclear of why you want to, well, it takes, I mean, it takes a turn to update them. It takes one turn to update them, and I don't know how relevant that is. He's not upgrading all of them, so I'm, but it's not supposed to be an impossible boss, so, um, all right, so let's figure out why we didn't update the mines. We're touching a structure. Is there a debug mode in this one? Oh, there's no debug mode in this one. Let's go back to the stars. So I build a mine. Right here, I build a mine, 14 mine. Then I go to build a 10 mine. Why do I do that? If flee, if build. If build. E print line. It's a bit weird. Touched. State dot touch site. Something's weird here. We're supposed to upgrade the mine. Let's just submit the same ones. Then these are the buttons just to submit and resubmit. I just have it zoomed in so you can get this bigger and then we just don't see those there. But I can't zoom in anymore. All right, pause this stuff. What happened? So this is 14. Touched 14, we build a mine. Touched some 14 and we moved. So we must be parsing something wrong. Let's check our entry again. I don't think we're parsing a mine. Yeah, we're not parsing a mine. So we don't recognize mines. That's the error we had. Mine must be number three. Zero. That's weird. Now we should upgrade. Will this be enough to kill him? No, but... Um... Oh, we're actually gonna have to track. How do we know if it's at the maximum mine rate or not? Do we actually have to track on our own and attempt to upgrade that failed? Yeah. 
Damn. Yeah, let's find out. Um, All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put another field in the strategy. And, because I think the mines, they're, they're random how much you can upgrade them. So it doesn't let you know what the maximum is. You just kind of have to try and upgrade it. So you waste a turn. It's either hidden in mine max size, and I don't think those, do you mean it's hidden or? The current income rate is fine, but the actual max too, so it's probably hidden. And that makes it cool if it's hidden, I can deal with that. We have a strategy somewhere here. So we can do this, we can do last mine, I-32. Last mine attempt equals I-32. And what we're gonna do here is, when we build a mine, we're gonna set the mine. We're gonna say state or strat self dot last mine equals site.id self.lastmine attempt equals one. We're attempting to get it to one. And we simplify this equals last mine. Oh, we better actually check it as well. And it's the last mine and it's owner and it's the structure type. And the mine income is less than four. And the site.mine income <coughs> is not the same as the last mine attempt. No, in, in the... And the income is greater than the last attempt. Because if it's greater than the last attempt, it means it worked, otherwise it failed. Last mine attempt equals site.mine income plus one. So we're expecting it to go up one. So, and I'm only tracking one at a time, so I'm not keeping a key complete state. So we'll have to see what happens here, whether this is good enough to get us away from these things. Self.lastmine. Self.last, self.last, woo! And owner, site.owner, yeah. Whoops, equals. I'll just put these all in multiple lines, makes it clear. Uh, let's see if I act like an idiot still. Well, that went really fast, the calculation. I hope that's a good sign. <laughs> Oh, we won this time. And we're not upgrading the mines though. Which is a bit weird. Do we never update the mines? The maximum could in theory be one. We'll look at it closely. If it, if it does it again, we'll look at it more closely. All right, let's check out what happened. We still win though, which is... Okay, what happens here? We do... We build 16 mine. All right, good. Then we move away. So we have an error here. We don't even attempt to do it twice, which is a problem. We don't attempt to do it twice because
greater than or equal to, that's why we're trying to get it to that one. Let's try this again. I mean, we won anyways, but that's kind of lucky. And lucky, we could probably just resubmit and get lucky and get out of this league, but let's try to at least not be total idiots. There, we upgraded a mine. Now those stupid guys destroy it, but there's not much I can do about that. But we did a lot better there. So, where are we on the leaderboard? Oh, well, let's just submit it. Let's not wait. Let's just submit this and see if it helps us to get up there by producing more gold. And... It's more fun than waiting. The initial jump to 31 helps, but it's also not very many people in this league. Looks like we're doing well so far. Um, oh, when you practice the gold, when you want to train people, so every time I produce people here, it costs me money. The knights cost 80, I think, so that's what we have to mine gold for, is we can't produce units unless we have money to produce them. Building is free, but the actual units, the recruitment, the training cost money. So I think we're doing better this time. The list of wins is pretty good compared to the list of losses. If I make it to Bronze League, that's all I'm going to do tonight, but I'll come back tomorrow night then. Again, unsure in what time. Might be later, might be earlier. I'll let you know on Twitter. Always just subscribe to me on Twitter. You can also follow me on Twitch, and I'll always announce beforehand when I go online. I try to do it at least a couple hours in advance, but sometime tomorrow night I'll come back, and hopefully a bit earlier, hopefully also at like 7, but if not, probably 9 or 10. And tomorrow morning or late afternoon... Or around afternoon I'll do a leaf stream on showing that game which I showed and that's the one that's over here this is a game I'm developing in my own language so it's more about the language than the game <clears throat> but this is all in OpenGL so this is accelerated blocks just so you want to know and I'm going through how I developed this game and this game actually came out from coding game it's the Tron game and I'll keep using this as a vehicle to explain the algorithms and tomorrow we'll look at actually code and how Leaf looks, my programming language. All right, and I think we're doing more than well enough here. Yeah, that slightly mine upgrade just killed it for us. We're fine. Now we just have to wait to complete the battles. Let's see if we can keep the first spot, if we can bite, beat this tier here and see if we're good enough to beat him. But that's more than well enough to get out of this wood league. And <clears throat> that means, other than the new rule that comes into place, we know the new rule is, oh, we didn't get a chance to fight Tyr because he actually took off to another league. Um, great. So that, that should be all the new rules, except the queen's health goes down in the next ones. I don't know, honestly, how that's going to affect us. We don't really monitor the queen anyways. We're going to have to be a little bit more conservative with the queen, possibly. I think that's the only thing that's going to be as a trigger. If your queen health is low, then just don't be as aggressive. There is no way to heal the queen, I think. The queen's health just keeps going down, and that's it. But... Um, so far, I do prefer this one more than Botters of the Galaxy because there are less rules, there's less types to care of, there's less constants. Botters had the issue that every single character had all these special abilities, so this is a much simpler game. It's in the same vein that it's really just juggling a bunch of variables, but it's actually a lot simpler than the previous one. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, my, as I keep mentioning, show my Wood League mindset is just get the minimal stuff running to get the rules working and get out of it <laughs> and then we'll reach bronze once we reach bronze we're actually going to have to start working on the heuristics a bit more because you'll find in these leagues that you just sort of switch basic rules to get out of them and it should be good enough
but now we're just waiting it for it to finish and that's about all I'm gonna do today just waiting for them to go out and a whole bunch of people came up and joined us up here so not a lot of people are having a problem in this part of the wood league it looks like oh there's a lot more coming here so people are coming from wood league too and but they're not gonna stay here long it depends on how you did your bot, how easy it is to get out of Wood League. Because we've done this one before, we, we have a good idea of that. Just make it flexible, just do the heuristics, just move on. And unless you want to spend a lot of time on it, a lot of thinking, this type of game is too complex to do any type of neural network or searching or any type of reasoning. The only thing you can do is you can actually compare targets. If I go here, which one's worth more? But it's still almost more of a heuristic than actual learning. And I can't believe I'm actually accumulating gold here. I have more gold than I can spend, so I could probably build another barracks. Okay. Thinking forward, what we're going to do in Bronze League is these towers, as long as they're attacking me, it's very dangerous for me to run outside the range of my towers. And what might make sense in that case, and this is where the hurts come, is that we quickly run to the middle and create a tower right there and create mines behind it and create a shield of towers, and then we spend the whole time just upgrading towers, and we'll have to figure out how we do that. And the towers, you notice, their range decreases, so if we just keep going back and increasing the range of the towers, it keeps us protected in more spaces. So what we should always do is just keep a lot of towers on there and as long as we're within range, and if we have a range of towers here, it gives us fair game to spend time upgrading stuff back here. And Because right now we're, we play sort of scaredy cat. We run away and just go to the nearest tower and keep upgrading it, which is a very, very basic. The trouble you're going to see with heuristics are the same one we had in Botters, is that it gets very hard to reason about lots of heuristics. You're gonna, It's a manual process, right? I'm not... My bot has no intelligence. It's not learning anything. It's all me. It's all us looking at this, trying to find ricks and rules. The game cannot figure out a trick on its own. It's going to be completely up to us to tell it every trick we can possibly have. And, oh, it looks like Zorg is doing well. Zorg must have another good one. Zorg and I are like, there's a five point gap which gives us a pretty good advantage. And that much of an advantage means that we might make it halfway through the Bronze League. Who knows? We don't know what's in Bronze League, how difficult the boss is, and we'll find out. Well, let's just play against Zorg. Let's see how we fight against Zorg. Zorg beat us in 187 rounds. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and this again, this is one of the problems with the heuristics. I would have beat him easily, except I just walked into his towers and died. He doesn't even build mines. So he's got a degenerate strategy somehow that seems to work. Hey, Nirvan, yeah, so I mean, <laughs> that's really curious if strategy works. <laughs> um, so obviously this is something I'm gonna have to implement is don't walk within range of towers. Um, <laughs> I'm going to lose every single time to him. I know for sure it's 100% I lose, and that's why he's going to get higher than me in the rank, because I just don't block against this. I just keep trying to take over his towers. It's going to be the exact same thing. I kill his things right away, no problem. And he just stays out of the range of my towers. You notice... Oh, no, he actually goes within range. Curious. Giant for the win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we could probably beat him with a giant. I 
It's amazing how much better his is performing. I'm not going to submit something new, but we can quickly test the Giants. Um, we're going to just, what's a get status here? Get commit out of Wood League. I just like these rollback points, and I should be making more of them because we often hit the state where I changed something. I don't know what I changed, and I screwed up. And let's just build a Giant instead. Let's see if that beats Zorg. Because he has no defense against the giant, or we'll start attacking his towers as well. Doesn't beat him. This game has really bad pathfinding. <laughs> All right, so that's not enough. We can destroy his towers, but he just sits there and rebuilds them. So. This is something interesting to watch. It's a good test here is uh, the game's built-in logic has some flaws. You can't control what these units do, which makes the game simpler, but it makes these four things utterly useless to a guy that just keeps reconstructing the tower because it always tries to destroy a tower first. And these are points you have to notice. And if these things would have just gone around and attacked the other towers, they would have destroyed them all. So that's not acceptable. And what if I just do the exact same as him? I don't know if it's the exact, but it's similar. Because I noticed he wasn't staying outside of range either. So now it's just going to be a toss-up who wins first, or who walks into the enemy first. And he keeps upgrading his towers, so I'm going to die first. So he clearly just stays on his side and upgrades them, and I could probably do the same thing. And what do we have left to do? <laughs> how much longer like I'm almost done there but yeah his <laughs> oh man I can't believe that and this is what I mean about degenerate strategies in anyway, yes they would and and it's a danger I have I mean obviously his guy would be destroyed by something else I'd have too I don't think that's gonna work much longer than these simple leagues but uh but again, you notice they're also getting stuck over here. That was more of a concern. They were trying to get there, and they're not employing pathfinding. They hit this thing and slowly walk around the tower, and that's what was bothering me more. So we built towers, 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 and... Um, Woody Prakash, it changes. I mean... Again, this is what Sykesy mentioned about the Wood League mindset, is that in Wood League, it's like really random stuff. And so the Wood League, your goal is just to like tweak just enough to get out of the Wood League to get the full set of rules and then start worrying about an actual strategy. But also I said everything, every league has a different metagame and you really have to pay attention to that. Focus on getting out of that game first, out of that league. Don't think about beyond that league. Just think about that one league because the next league could have a totally different metagame again. People doing different things. And the wood ones are really kind of a battlegrounds of degenerate strategies. And the last one for botters, though, it was actually very late in the competition. Somebody discovered a defect in the game and got a degenerate Hulk Hulk strategy, which got them very far. And so you just have to be aware of that. And we'll see where I get to. The metagame is also very important, and I learned from last time, is that if you're sitting just behind the boss in the leaderboard, it's well worth your effort to get above that boss before taking a break, before going to sleep, because six hours later, the metagame may have changed, and you have to basically completely rewrite your bot, so it's much better to take a break the moment you get into another league. And I assume it's going to be the same way for these ones, and I think that's just a metagame strategy and we'll see what happens. I'm just going to leave this one now. Uh, we're probably good. I'm not going to try to get him at it. But Inari repeats the point I made is that 
our people get stuck a lot. It's unfortunate. And I actually had the one situation, if you saw earlier in the show, I was being prevented from building one of my buildings by my two creeps. My two creeps prevented me from building a building because they kept pushing me out of the way. And so the pathfinding in the game itself is unfortunate. And but that means we but but it's unfortunate for all of us, right? We all have to deal with that. And because the game has the typical thing, I think it flips the bit. The games are played in batches of two. Let's check it out. Um, oh, the games are not played in batches of two. A lot of the old games are played in batches of two, so you don't have a randomness. But this one seems like you suffer from randomness, but everybody does. You're just going to hit some spots where the pathfinding screws you up. Nothing you can do about it. And, But again, everybody deals with the same problem. Is it actually symmetrical, Neumann? That's, I, I, I thought I identified it. Is this actually symmetrical? Yeah, it looks like it might be somewhat symmetrical, but not quite. So it's close enough, but that case, um, wonderful. There we go. So, yeah, the rounding error can actually definitely cause that, and a small rounding error is that, but you'd imagine the guy on the right side of the board to suffer more than because he has the higher X values. Um, it's, it's not enough that I'm going to concern myself too much about it. But it is there, it is something you have to deal with, and it's something I imagine that the people, once you get to the Legendary League, very likely people are going to have to consider your own units to get the hell out of the way of your units, and then go back and do something. Because if you're in the way of your units... Oh, it's a bit hard to click. Let's get one of these links. So anyway, this is a very good example of a lack of actual symmetry. And I don't think it's because of the game... I don't think it's because of the game actually being asymmetrical. It's because of the order that one of the people goes first, and so their pathfinding is going to be better, or just get happen to be better. Yeah, okay, so that's, um, this was traditionally the reason why a lot of the games they play people against on both sides. And this is a very good example to show that the game is not actually perfectly symmetrical. The map may be pretty close, but the pathfinding is not. So somebody will get at a disadvantage on the logic. But as we progress in the leagues, if the logic is advanced enough, it probably won't make enough of a difference. Although, for the creeps it might. Because the creep logic is just, you don't control that. You can control where they come from. But it'll be interesting to see what happens, though. All right, and so the Bronze League has very little people in it. Interesting. But I'm going to call it a night anyways. Why does the Bronze League have so few people in it? Is the Silver League there now? No. Oh, so very few people are in the Bronze League. So we really have nothing to compete for anyways. <laughs> 423. Oh, and this is all weekend. We don't have a new league. All right, so tomorrow we'll be fighting for the top of the Bronze League, I guess. And I don't have to worry about too much pressure. I was hoping it would open up earlier. Yeah, it's unfortunate this doesn't open up the first weekend when you have lots of time. So that means next week we're going to be fighting for silver and gold. Where I'm not, when I come back next Friday then, basically I'm going to be fighting right for gold from bronze. Unless I can make, unless I can make my bot strong enough in the Bronze League that he just skips over silver automatically on Monday, but I won't be able to watch him on Monday. 
All right, so I think that's it for this though. And let's see where we are here. I mean, I'm still going up, 21. Let's see who is in this one, who we recognize. Um, but the, the, the Gertar we've seen, we had troubles with him butter. He was beating us all the time. That was one of the horrible ones. And Euler's in here. Euler helps us. And there's you are, Inari. You're right there. Great. And we're right here down at 21. Let's do as a last test. Let's do delete him. All right, where are you, Inari? I know you're here somewhere. <laughs> I should probably just search. Eno. There we go. Let's play you. Oh wait, this is my stupid strategy. I forgot to put my other strategy back. <laughs> um, Barracks Knight, Mine Tower. Let's put my proper strategy back. <laughs> I just walk into you, let's try that again. Yeah, I don't know. Do I just walk into danger again? I create too many mines, I think. Again, as I said, everything out of Wood League is basically just random stuff. But I'm not going to work this more. There's going to be one more match to see if it wasn't luck. And this is clearly, as Henry pointed out, this is a symmetrical thing. I'm only losing because of the swapping of the board. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, that's I, I'm. That was my next step. Is that actually as soon as I have enough a mine and a barracks, I was just going to run through my towers and keep upgrading them. But actually, if I would just not go into your tower range, I'd be fine. And that's a simple enough change. But we can make this tomorrow. And I thank you very much for watching today. That's all for today. We we made it far enough. We made it to the wood league. That's as far as we can actually go. And being twenty one to thirty one, and knowing the people that are there. It's going to be a really tough climb up the bronze ladder. And we'll see, though. And until the Silver League opens, the top of bronze is going to be awful. But we'll see how far we get tomorrow. Again, join me tomorrow for the leaf building as well, the coding and the gaming. And thank you very much. And submit. Yeah, I'll, yeah submit it, just in case. In case of stupid stuff. I might do worse. Um, so I'll let this one run just to see if we don't do worse. Um, I mean, it should do better, uh, or it might do better. Who knows? Again, it could be degenerate. Now I'm going to have to say goodbye all over again. Lose some, win some, lose some. It might not make a difference. Um... Again, I mean, the top part of the leaderboard is going to be filled with people that actually have decent strategies that have actually worked on it. Although they're not submitting now, so they may have all just gone home. Anybody not submitting now might have a strategy that's easy to beat. So somebody like Tantal and Tsukomo will probably have good strategies. And Zorg is here as well. Zorg, not his, not his strategy. <laughs> He's doing up. Um, oh, we're going up too. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll maybe check later if you guys want to check later, see what it is. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you get the announcements and to follow me on Twitch as well. And if you have any subscribes, if you have Amazon Prime subscribes, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out or cheer me along just a little bits to make the show more interesting. And thank you very much and we'll see you then tomorrow evening.